The world we live in is intricately connected and one of the key geographical features that links countries across the Mediterranean to the Atlantic Ocean is the Strait of Gibraltar. This narrow passage spans only 8.1 miles at its narrowest point. While it is feasible for a skilled open water swimmer to cross it, most people would prefer a more convenient mode of transportation between the continents. The status of this region is quite complex. While Spain, Morocco and Britain all lay some claim to it, the significance of the area has resulted in a truce. Any attempt to disrupt the free flow of traffic would likely face strong opposition from the international community. Moreover, the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea safeguards the strait, ensuring that foreign vessels have the right to navigate through it without hindrance. However, constructing a bridge in this area poses additional challenges. The British territory of Gibraltar, which is home to the Rock of Gibraltar, a large nature preserve and archaeological site, is a major obstacle. The territory's status has further complicated Spanish-British relations. Although over 34,000 people currently reside in Gibraltar with a majority speaking Spanish, they generally prefer to maintain the existing status quo. Yet, following Brexit and the UK's departure from the European Union, many residents of Gibraltar desire to retain the freedom of movement they once enjoyed. Ongoing negotiations aim to determine the future of this territory. If a bridge were to be built connecting Europe to Africa, Gibraltar would likely serve as the starting point. The next closest location between Malta and Tunisia is approximately 300 miles away, making travel by boat or airplane more practical. On the other hand, the gap between Gibraltar and Morocco is shorter than a half marathon and can be easily crossed on foot within a few hours given the opportunity. Some individuals are advocating for such a bridge, although proposals to connect countries by bridges or tunnels have been made before, such as the Channel Tunnel linking the United Kingdom and France. The construction of the Channel Tunnel, also known as the Channel, was initially discussed in 1802, but it was not organized till the late 1900s and finally opened in 1994. This ambitious project, which cost over £9 billion at the time, equivalent to over $20 billion today, is the third longest rail tunnel globally, spanning a length of 31 miles. However, the channel primarily serves freight and passenger trains with a special car designed to transport road vehicles across the route. The journey from the UK to France approximately takes 35 minutes. Despite initial concerns about ease of travel between the two countries, the convenience factor prevailed over apprehensions. Presently, the primary concern regarding the Channel Tunnel revolves around the potential for migrants to exploit it as a means of bypassing border security. Constructing a bridge from Europe to Africa via Gibraltar would be an immense and complex undertaking, requiring the cooperation of all three countries involved. Diplomatic tensions between UK, Spain and Morocco could pose challenges to agreeing on the use of territory for such a massive construction project. Furthermore, the colonial history between Morocco and European powers may lead to suspicions about a substantial investment in the country. Moreover, the absence of free movement agreements like the Schengen Agreement, which allows for unrestricted travel within the EU, presents an additional hurdle Establishing new border security infrastructure would be necessary for any connection between Europe and Africa. Europe, already experiencing an influx of migrants from Africa and the Middle East due to political oppression and poverty, may resist the idea of a bridge becoming a new migration hub. Although the Europe-Africa crossing faces political complexities, engineers continue to explore solutions. In 2021, discussions began between British and Moroccan authorities 
regarding the connection of Gibraltar to Morocco, enabling Spanish residents to access the crossing by entering the British territory. This idea has been under consideration since 1979, intriguing many engineers. Initially, building a bridge seemed like the most straightforward approach due to the relatively short distance between the continents. However, the longest bridge in the world, the Dayang Kushan Grand Bridge, which spans over 100 miles, is mostly on land, with only 5.6 miles crossing open water. Constructing supports in the water for a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar would be much more challenging. As an alternative, the success of the Channel Tunnel has led some to consider a tunnel as a viable solution for the Europe-Africa crossing. A tunnel proposal was initially suggested by Spain in 1930, but was deemed infeasible at the time due to the hard bedrock under the strait. However, with modern tunneling technology, the project might now be possible. A comprehensive geological study was conducted in the 2000s to identify the most feasible and secure route. The shortest route discovered led to a deep area of the strait, approximately 3,000 feet deep. Another route, although longer at over 14 miles, had a shallower depth of around 900 feet. Existing high-speed rail lines in Spain and Morocco could serve as the foundation for the tunnel, with extensions constructed to meet in the middle of the strait. This proposed Gibraltar tunnel would be roughly 25 miles long, running nearly a thousand feet beneath the sea and taking around 15 years to complete. It would be slightly deeper than the Rye-Filke tunnel in Norway, which is 955 feet deep and connects two southern regions. Despite the engineering possibilities, several factors cast doubt on the realization of the project. The sheer expense makes it a daunting undertaking, potentially becoming the most expensive train tunnel in history. Long-term cooperation between three independent nations with a history of tension presents another challenge, as a single diplomatic dispute could jeopardize the entire project. Additionally, the demand for easy transit may not be substantial enough to justify the substantial investment, considering the availability of airports and ferry transport between Gibraltar and Morocco. While the feasibility of a Europe-Africa tunnel remains uncertain, one thing is clear. Tangiers, the potential Moroccan endpoint of the tunnel, is experiencing rapid growth and becoming a major tourist destination. As this trend continues, the prospect of easy access from Europe to Africa could be a significant selling point for tourists seeking a convenient way to reach this bustling beachside town. In conclusion, the construction of a bridge or tunnel linking Europe and Africa through Gibraltar presents numerous challenges. The political complexities, expenses, diplomatic cooperation and potential impact on migration patterns make it a complex endeavor. Although the project may not materialize in the near future, the growth of Tangiers as a tourist destination could influence future considerations.